Raymond Lee, welcome to Washington. Quantum Leap tonight, 10 o'clock here on NBC4. First of all, I want to put it out there. It's not a reboot. It's a continuation. I am so glad you said that because that means I, I don't have to correct you. It <laughs> is a continuation. We're picking up where they left off. It just happens to be 30 some odd years in the future. And now a new team has been assembled. What can people who knew the original show expect like nostalgia wise? Yeah, the main theme of uh, walking a mile in someone else's shoes, uh, putting right what once went wrong, and, and to have these kisses with history, they're, they're all still there. Um, and we still have the main players of the Leaper and the Hologram that are present throughout all of these leaps. And Ziggy's also back. Has Ziggy gotten updates? Because Alexa and Siri have updates like every yes. two weeks. So I think <laughs> after 30 years, Ziggy needs a, a bit of an update too. Ziggy is uh, very much updated, and I think it'll be very exciting for original fans to see Ziggy in its new form. Also, to see the entire headquarters that controls Ziggy. Well, they don't. Nobody can control Ziggy, but who can filter information, help filter information through Ziggy, and be a conduit for all that is Ziggy. Being in D.C., the land of museums and archives and all of the things, we kind of love our history around here. What was the, um, the work done on the set to make sure things were historically accurate? I'm just getting ready for the emails we're going to get, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, what's what's incredible is the skill uh, and the knowledge of every single department that we have on here. They have to make sure everything holds true, that the images look the way they did in 1984, say. And so it makes my job a lot easier to know that I, oh, I'm just here and I'm living in this truth. Raymond Lee, thank you for spending some time with us. Dr. Ben Song on Quantum Leap tonight, 10 o'clock on NBC4.